YouTube, what is going on? We are back with another drive. It is my week, and man, I've been waiting for this one all week. This is a topic I've had in my mind for a while, and it's going to be about staying motivated while you age. It's something I've been running into a little bit of a struggle with lately, especially since we stopped competing, and I kind of want to get into it and dive into what um, has kept me going and what has kept me motivated. <laughs> All right, guys, so staying motivated while you are aging. This is not easy to do. Um, even in my own life, especially I've been getting older, it's what what have I been thinking about? What's going to keep you in the gym as long? What's going to keep you as fit? What's going to keep you motivated even professionally? Whatever that may be. And for me right now, it's been more about the fitness train. Now, I do want to get on some, I do want to start with, having your own identity. I think as you age, you have to have your own identity. Um, it doesn't matter where you're at. I don't care if you're a stay-at-home mom. I don't care if you're a teacher. I don't care if you own your own business and you make your own hours. I don't care if you're a construction worker. You've got to have your own identity outside of something else your family just does. You've got to find something that you enjoy. I don't care if it's painting, fitness, whatever, but you have to have something that you like that you can truly stick to because if you don't, some if you don't filling that time and finding things that are worth your time besides jumping on social media or um posting stuff all the time about something that's irrelevant to what you really want to get done and you're going to feel like you've more wasted time with your phone in front of your face than things you could be actually wanting to accomplish so i do want to start this video with i truly believe finding your own identity is huge and that's going to be step number one step number two whenever we think motivation or we think um anything that's going to further your career or something you always think either two things right either money or fitness it doesn't have to be that so um going off of step one and finding your identity it could be nothing to do related to fitness i'm going to give you mine and what it's like to staying motivated and, and trying to keep me motivated as i age um but it doesn't have to be fitness related. It could be something that you want to be a better painter. You want to be a better artist. You want to learn the guitar. Uh, you maybe want to get better at cooking. So you're starting to watch a little bit more cooking video, uh, videos or cooking shows, or you're reading cooking books, something like that. You want to get, you want to be a better golfer, you know, whatever it may be. You want to be better at tennis. I don't care, but you've got to find something that you can continually try to get better at. And it could change a little bit, which we're going to get into another step later. But if you don't find something that's going to keep you keep that kind of snowball pushing down the hill that is when you're going to have problems and that's when you're going to get older in life and you're going to be like i've got nothing to even going on anymore especially if your kids move out and things like that so number three is kind of where you get into step number three is where you get into something that you've actually got to narrow it down you've got to choose something for me it's fitness it's it's going to be fitness related for right now i've done the crossfit games um you know been towards the top in the world at that I've, I've really struggled the last three years to really find out what I wanted to do. So over probably the last five, six months, I've really been looking into doing an Ironman and doing something that is totally opposite of something I would even enjoy to do. Do I want to be an Ironman and be able to call myself an Ironman and do well at it? Yes. Did I ever have the balls to actually go out and do it? No, not until now. So that is something that's going to keep me motivated for the next year. I'm actually going to pretty much stop CrossFit for a year to just focus on this Ironman. I don't know how that's going to go. I'm going to try to vlog it. I'm going to try to keep it going so you guys can all watch along and how my body changes, how it reacts, the struggles, what are um, some of the triumphs I get. But that's going to be keeping me, me motivated. And that's something that has really been in my head for the last six months. But I've been having three years of struggling. So the struggles can go on for a while. But eventually, I think you've got to choose something you have to pick something of what it maybe it is getting better at CrossFit maybe it's not but as long as you're willing to be a little bit vulnerable and say hey you know I don't know I've been kind of spinning my wheels for a while right now then maybe it is time for you to maybe even talk to someone else try to get someone on your side that could help you as well number four 
your goals can change. They're gonna change throughout your entire life. After this Ironman, I have no idea what I'm gonna wanna do. I might go through another lull period of a couple years. I don't know, but it is okay to change them. You don't have to stick with them for a, uh, whatever amount of time or a period of time, but here's what you do have to do. You have to make a decision and you do have to go after it. You can't keep being wishy-washy back and forth, back and forth and putting half ass into everything. That is gonna keep you in the same rhythm in the same you know, kind of depressed state you're in. You've got to be able to choose something that you enjoy and go after it. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be scary. If it isn't, then you're pro- if you're not at least a little bit fearful of it, then I can guarantee you right now, you probably are not picking up something that is truly gonna change your life or truly make you happy. That is the end goal. I don't, care, I don't care how small or how big it is, but to you, you better be a little bit scared and a little bit nervous to do it, give you a little bit of anxiety. That is how things are really gonna change. I do wanna keep this short and blunt and to the point. So step number five, I wanna get into a little bit because I see it a lot, especially in the gym and outside of the gym, especially honestly when I coached baseball back in high school, is not living through your children and trying to motivate yourself based on what they're doing. Sure, it's great that um, you're happy for them or you help them play baseball every day or you go out and you help them with their math. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying that is awesome. But for you personally, if you get all of your motivation, if you are if you are completely riding everything you've ever done on your kid's athletic career or your kid's, um, the way that what they do after school with their extracurricular activities or you know all straight A's in high school and whatever else, you're gonna be disappointed. You're going to eventually find and, and have a huge void because you've never found something that you truly enjoy to do. So, I, I mean, I used to see it all the time in baseball. We'd have these parents come down who think they know everything, trying to tell me, the coach, what to do because little Johnny is, you know, they've been working with them for the last 10 years and they know this and know that. It's like, you are so um, biased now that your opinion literally doesn't matter. That is why you have a coach who's unbiased. That is why you get into these positions so you can make decisions that help the team win. But that is what I'm saying. Relating it back to your children is that that's all fine and dandy. Help them out, do your thing, love them, play with them every single day, go out. And I mean, I can't even tell you how many times my dad hit me baseballs on the diamond. But the bottom line is if you don't have something that you enjoy, something that you can put your hat on and be like, Hey, I really enjoy doing this. I like doing this too. And I'm going to go out and have fun with it. You are going to be unmotivated as an adult. It's going to be much harder for you to maybe get out of bed and go for a walk in the morning or get some fitness in. But it it is critical that you get up and do something every single day that's going to keep you motivated, especially as you as you age. And I do want to say it doesn't need to be anything crazy. Everybody thinks it needs to be something huge. Of course, I just gave the example of an Ironman, which is kind of huge, but it doesn't have to be like that. It took me three years to understand, hey, let's go after it, put the money aside, save up for it, blah, 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 but it doesn't need to be anything like that. And maybe there's steps over a certain amount of years that get you to uh, maybe a little bit bigger of a goal. Maybe it's to save up more money and go on, uh, go on a vacation with just you and your husband or you and your wife or you and your whoever, I don't care. But I think it's so important that you have your own identity to keep you motivated well into your life because that's what's going to keep you moving. That's what's going to keep you excited. Otherwise, it's just what you sit back and, and because you're older, you can't stay motivated. That, that's, that's asinine to me. I mean, it's, it seriously is crazy. I think it's so important to find something you enjoy and to finally put something that some time away that is your time, a little bit of time for you. You've done a lot of things probably for, and you've given your time away and you've you've worked this hard, especially as you're aging, it's time to find something you truly enjoy. So that's all I'm saying about this video. I'm gonna end it there. If you guys have any questions or comments, please shoot them down below. But what are some things that you've wanted to go after? Mine's, Mine's an Ironman right now. It's gonna change in the next three, four, five years, but Right now, that's all I'm thinking about as far as outside of my personal life. Uh, So I hope you guys find something that you guys like. As always, if you've got your workout in today, if you've moved today at all, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Appreciate you guys being with us.